everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to basically show you what I've been working on this is a project oh, let me move this out the way first uh, this is a project I've been working on for I'd say about at least a year and a half now um, it's basically a um, what you see here is a uh, mannequin you know male and female um, you know and basically it's a I wanted to be a virtual fitting room so the concept of this is to basically you know pick and choose like a character that you can actually change the the weight and the height and everything all its attributes about its um, about the mannequin so um, as you can see here it says uh, click one of the arrows to select an avatar an avatar being the aka the, the mannequin or the 3d model if you want if you want to call it that so if you pick uh let's see we pick the the male model here uh so now you have a different level um that pretty much comes to uh this isn't done this by the way this is just a demo version of it um i plan on basically um uploading this uh, to github actually you can check it out on my github right now it's um, the maverick project um, and it's basically all all this does right now is um, you know you have your you know your uh, your user interface and if you press a or d you can um, rotate it left or right um, the attributes on this thing right now aren't working um, until I get the uh, you know the AI code in here um, pretty soon so I'm still working on that and along with uh, just the, the 3d model itself um, yeah there's some things I need to change about that as well but once I'm done with that I will have an updated video on the progress of this project uh, like I said I've been working on it for about a year and a half now um, I just wanted to kind of show you you know just the user interface and and what it does this has actually been programmed in unity unity is a game in, uh, a game engine unlike um, much like uh, unreal engine uh, unity has been around for quite some time and it's it's a very robust piece of software so um, that's pretty much what I'm using to build this thing so um, but anyway um, just to get back to the project itself um, so the idea of this is to basically have the 3d model male or female um, you know use it for clothes so um, the clothes uh, fitting size so if you were to choose uh, small medium or large you would definitely you would um, more than likely see a representation of it being too loose too tight or just right <laughs> so um, you know you have the uh, you know the clothes on here being too loose it'll basically basically give you a visual representation of how the clothes would fit on you based on the um, the attributes so let's say if I were I don't know 200 pounds which I'm not um, and my height is my current height is actually at in inches 75 inches uh, let's see and then we have you know your chest size I'm gonna actually change this uh, because bust and, and chest are a little different for uh, different genders um, so I'm gonna change that as well waist um, now let's go with a smaller <laughs> um, then this actually needs to change too because waist and inches for guys typically smaller I'm I'm actually not a 37 so that's definitely got to change too um, hip size and all that stuff is more for you know women uh, length you know um, and I think it stops here but there will definitely be more attributes um, uh, and uh, more selection as time goes on but for right now um, like I said this is just a demo um, and all of that information will be saved um, in a through an API to where I'm going to incorporate or integrate um, late a little later 
here's a um, help menu to kind of help you navigate through the um, you know just the basics on how to use this thing um, this will also probably um, be changed out as well um, but I haven't gotten around to that but it basically just gives you the the simple most you know direct um, type of uh, instructions to go by all right um, but like I said uh, you know as you can see here by rotating the model on your keyboard you can press a to rotate left and uh, the D key to uh, rotate right um, and then you also have a different camera view uh, to kind of see you know um, more angle a better angle you know um, yeah now for mobile view um, I'm gonna have to add some uh, touch input into this thing but that will also uh, come a little later as uh, as I continue to de uh, to develop this thing so um, you know same thing for the ladies you know you have the female model here um, it's the same concept uh, the only difference is is um, you know, like I said, the the height, you know, and all the different, um, <clears throat> and all the the other attributes that come along with that, um, you know. So that only that would be the only thing that will change on this thing, um, would be just the attributes, and then you'll be able to see the um, the the representation of that on here, yeah. So. But that's pretty much all I have for you today. And if you like this video, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and comment away on what you think about, you know, my idea for this virtual fitting room. Uh, do you think it's a great idea? I'm basically on the, uh, once I'm done with this thing, I want to um, upload it to uh, different e-commerce sites. Um, some I'm not going to name, but you know, you'll get the idea. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. This is J-Math Tech, signing out. Peace.